How do you treat bronchospasm and the inflammation that's in the airway? So the bronchospasm, we use what we call our rescue inhalers, and they relax these muscles and cause the airway to open up. They do a good job? For the most part, yes. Uh, how fast do they work? Um, it, about 20 minutes. Okay, so this, the name of some of the rescue inhalers would be? So albuterol would be the common one, uh -huh. and we can give that either through the nebulizer or inhaler. And then left albuterol is a newer form of albuterol. It's used for folks who have a lot of shakiness with the original albuterol, and it seems to help a bit with that. Yeah, but they both are doing the same thing. They begin to work in a short period of time. Yes. How long do they usually last, the reliever? Usually not more than four to six hours. So you've got four to six hours of relief. Most people get relief with that? Most people do. Obviously, there, asthma attacks can occur in all different degrees. Yeah. So there are folks who may take their reliever and take it once and they're good to go. There are other folks who, if they're having a more serious asthma attack, may end up having to take that repeatedly or even go to the hospital if it isn't working for them at home. Can that spasm and the inflammation get so, so bad that people die because of asthma? Absolutely. Uh, and so one of the important things to do is to get your asthma under control. That's right. What we really want to do is try to control this inflammation long term uh -huh. and teach the patient. Make sure that they understand how the disease works. Make sure that they understand their rescue medicines. And for a lot of our patients who have more significant asthma, they'll need a controller medication so that's something that long-term controls this inflammation and sometimes even holds the airways open for longer periods of time. 